welcome to another video. On this video, we have a clone, Delphi clone, it's dual board. I put the tape here because when I will plug to the power supply, it will flash these LEDs and you will not be able to see on the camera. And as I said, I promise you, I will check the functionality, I will show you how you can check the relays. This relays from here, okay. Because I do have a question related to these things, how can I check the relay and also where I should check the electricity, where I should have the voltage. I decided to show you how you can do it. This hardware is very bad, it doesn't work. And I will show you what the issues are on this case and why it doesn't work. And maybe you'll have also issues related to if, like this one or you have different issues, but at least you should check the most important uh, things on the board. Okay, enough with talking. Let's put the multimeter here. I believe now it's okay. Uh, first of all, we will start the measurements on the continuity mode on ohm on the resistor. I will take a seat now, and uh, I have my power supply connected to 13.6 volts. But as I said, first of all, we will check the resistance on of this uh, relay. Let's start to make the measurements. Pin 1 and 2. This is the pin 1 and this is the pin 2. Or opposite, doesn't matter. It, we will uh, show you all the time. If it's good, around 190 ohms. If it's bad, it is lower. Okay, You should have around 190 ohms. You noticed we have 100... 88.9 then 189 ohms it is very close this is the first uh, measurements okay notice i don't put it here because this one belongs to this one okay then again 188 ohms we move to next one the next one is this one 181 this is bad because when they really have a real 5 volts you should have 190 ohms when it's 4.5 volts it, it is around 150 155 ohms okay and if you have one relay for example with 3 volts uh, you still find on all the sport or in the few of these clones uh, relay with 3 volts then will be near 65 70 ohms okay and for example we move to this one 184 the next one 182 you notice the really in my opinion they are cheap quality you can continue with this one okay and so forth and now the next step uh, of these measurements is to measure the pin between the pin 3 and 5 and 4 and 6 okay it's like for example these two here on continuity mode you should hear the beeping is 0 0 and also this one zero zero you can go also to the opposite zero 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 and now this one it's a bad relay here nothing you see and also here nothing and also between these legs nothing but here you should have zero zero if you check another one all of them they will have zero zero if they are good if they are bad you have no continuity here it's like for example in this case then this really is fucked up okay then we have an issue and at this moment this board have an issue is this really exactly this one from here But I believe this board will have more than this issue. First issue is this relay. And before to move to another side to make the measurements, 
I will start the power supply at 13.6 volts and we will measure also the voltage over here. I put it on 60 because I will also have 13.5 uh, at the first one. But we should have the uh, 5 volts if this relay really have 5 volts or not. You see 4.9 on the screen. It's close to 5. It's good. It's on the tolerance. Okay. And here 13 volts at this one. Only in this case on the first one. If we measure another one, here this one 2.5, they will have different measurements. But if you measure all of these relays, they should all of them have 5 volts at this pin 1 and 2. And also this bed relay, let's measure the bed relay. You noticed he have uh, voltage, but it doesn't work. None of these pins have, have nothing on this bed relay because it's dead. Look, for example, we take this one. And let's see if this one have voltage. Yes, this one have voltage to another pin. This board have also, you should have here on the back, you have ground and you have three volts and five volts over here. This is the five volts. Here is nothing. Here is three volts from the PC, okay? Another component, is this one, you should measure these chips. Nine two four one A. If they have voltage or not, then we'll take the ground and we go the first pin. We have thirteen volts. Which is good. Here is nothing. 13, 13, nothing, and here we should have also 5 volts, and we do have 5 volts over here. Okay, let's measure also another one. We have nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. There's no voltage over here. So you can notice we don't have, it doesn't mean uh, this chip is bad. It can be a broken line here and it doesn't come, uh, he doesn't have the supply here, the voltage over here. You can measure also over here, and you should have 12 volts on this one, 5, and of this one, 13. I said 12, but my power supply is to 13.6. Okay, then you follow the track and you go here, 13. Okay. If you follow the track, you go here. Five, five, thirteen. It goes like that. Is here? Then we have here five volts. And this component is nothing. Here five volts. Five volts. Five. 
then round around this chip we have electricity then this chip it doesn't have current over here it can be from light of this board or chip himself and this is another issue what this board have and this is also one reason why this shit doesn't work okay let's try to go on the dial mode and let's measure this shit you see the sign here for dial and let's measure this chip The chip is not dead and we have problem with this uh, light board, okay? This is the reason why this shit it doesn't work. Because you notice this is very bad quality. I have only one line here. This shit is very bad, okay? And this is how you can measure the voltage over here. Now we can check the relays. And before to close this video, Let's try to see if the clone can work on 24 uh, volts because the Chinese are saying it can work also with uh, trucks. And for that, we will put our probe here to ground. I hope this is a good connection. We will move to voltage and at the first of here i should have here 13 volts okay where is my voltage here oh, okay i will increase the power you hear the beeping twenty four volts nothing happens let's turn around the board we have the power supply there let's take the measurements Okay, 24 let's increase the voltage and see when he will blow up okay we have 30 volts and this is the maximum what my power supply can provide 30 volts unfortunately we cannot blow up this shit but you notice this very poor quality of this board and uh, i hope now you will know how we can measure this shit how we can find the bed relay as i said i repeat again you should measure the resistance between these two legs it should be close to 190 and also the voltage should be 5 volts over there and you notice on the back of the board this one it doesn't work i will show you on the next video how it can make it work and make this shit uh, working again okay thanks for watching and see us the next one bye bye